what are your first impressions of DJ and Dak, and what kind of roles do you think they could have this year? Well, DJ came in in the spring in January. He was an early enrollee, and, and or Dak yeah. came in early. And he, he was really good. He was solid. He just had a lot of natural pass rush ability, physical kid, strong kid. He had good size. He was probably about 235 already. So he had a good – his father played in the NFL maybe eight, nine years. So he has a good feel, good DNA DNA of the game. So I, I thought he was a little bit ahead of the curve, but he still had a lot to learn. And as far as DJ, DJ's a pretty sharp kid coming in. He got here in the summer. He's got a lot of physical attributes right away. He's athletic, good twitch, and, and he studies hard and he's very mature for his age. You know, he seems like he's been around for a while. So pretty excited about the both of them. Good young, young nucleus. What has the competition been like at kicker so far? And, and how do you kind of proceed with that through the rest of camp? It's been good. I mean, Tabor's been around. He's been a kickoff guy, but he, he does field goals secondary, and he's competing for the starting job as well. Owen's been around. He's a big left-footed kicker. And then Charlie's been doing a great job too. So we're charting everything. I'm not going to reveal who's ahead by points or anything like that, but those guys are competing. They're pushing each other. We haven't told anyone who's the starter here or there. They're kind of going with the ones and twos, and we'll see at the end of camp. And even throughout the season, you know, competition makes guys a little bit better. So it's, it's a close group, and we'll see how that shakes out. Who do you like in the return game, whether that's punt or kick? For kick return, you know, Trevor's returning. He did he did a great job last year. We've got Savy Morrison. He, he's doing a great job as well. We've got Croft, the young guy that's been doing a solid job there. Harry Stewart does a good job. Punt return, Trevor's kind of the guy. He did it last year. But, you know, we, we've got other guys rotating in. O.J. Burroughs, he's done it in the game. So we have good depth there, and it's just about building that and adding some young guys into the mix. In, in the spring, uh, one of the big things with Dean Miller was kind of his nutritional and, and weight situation. How has he continued to, to bring that forward into fall, and how has that helped him get to where he is now? Well, I'd say some guys it takes a while, right? And uh, he finally he figured it out. He really worked at it, and he came back after January. He put on 15 pounds, so he worked really hard at home and figured out what was good for his body. And our nutritionists do a great job. And for him, it's just maintaining it because he he's a guy. This is the thing. He's a high motor guy. He runs like crazy at practice. He burns a lot of calories, so he's got to eat. And sometimes maybe he was overeating or not eating enough, and it's finding that balance. And he's really matured in that way. It was never about how good or how, how he could put it all together. It was always just about putting on the weight to get him on the field, and he's there right now. You mentioned getting to see Dak during the spring, but for DJ, right, this is a first consistent practice time. So what has surprised you most about DJ during camp? His, like I said, his maturity, he's a real mature kid and not a lot flusters him. He's a pretty quiet kid, but you can ask him any question in, in the meeting room and, and he knows it and it's pretty impressive for a young guy. And, and that's what's most exciting because either you have it or not physically, obviously you have to be, you have to have development and weight and strength, but it's really the mental game in camp and he's pretty even keeled and that's, that's what we like about him. Recruiting wise, you guys were on him really early. Yeah. You know, for a lot of other schools. Mm -hmm. What was it about him that you guys saw that made you feel like this is a guy we want to go and get? Well, we, we saw his tape, and obviously he had good good film, and a lot of guys have good film, but when we went out to the, the Phoenix Showcase and watched him work out one-on-ones, and every school in the country, once he started moving, was swarming to him, and he, was, he just was really dynamic. He's, he's, he's a very natural pass rush guy, and, and then he played offensively too. He was a pretty good high, tight end in high school. They'd use him at Wildcat quarterback. So just a dynamic athlete, all and with some good size, and coming in at 223 around there with his height and weight, it, it, was, it was impressive. And like, this is a guy that would fit well in our defense. And with Bai, um, you guys looked at him in the portal. What were things that you saw from him that you felt like, this is a guy we also really want to go get? Uh, we ask our defensive ends, they do a lot. They have to be hybrid type players. They can drop, they're gonna rush, they're gonna be in the run game. So he was physical, uh, he was athletic, and, and he played with a motor. And so those are three attributes we look for. If, if you can run and if you're physical and you're athletic and you're not afraid of contact, that, that's our type, type of guy. And he's definitely brought that to the table. Hey, so what you do with the defensive end special teams, how big has it been with the analysts helping out? Yeah, Coach Coach Dawson's been big time. He's a guy that's been with the Giants, the Eagles. He's been at UC, He's been at a bunch of other colleges. Has a lot of experience. So 
when I go to special teams, those guys got that one-on-one -on -one work with him, working on pass rush, working on uh, and run fit. And sometimes it's good to hear a, diff a different mix, right, a, a voice. And he makes me better. I'm learning things from him. It, it, we're, we're working together, and it's been beneficial for the guys because when I'm busy, they can go to Coach Dawson, and, and he helps those guys out a lot. And he, he does a great job. At one of those spots, you got Jeremy Robinson behind him as well. What have you seen him doing? From Wookie? Yeah. Yeah, Wookie's been awesome. He got here in the spring. He was a little bit banged up in the spring, but he's a sharp guy. And I, I say really in the group, he's the most experienced guy. He was at Youngstown State as a four-year starter. So he's played a lot of football. They used he's played against Ohio State, a lot of big, big time schools. So he's not he's not afraid. He's an older guy. He's extremely mature. And when when I say he's sharp and he's really picked it up and uh, he, it's, it's been a good competition. I'll, he's pushing guys, okay, because he's going to go in there. He's not going to make mistakes, and he's going to be a physical player for us. So Woodkey was, uh, has been kind of an under-the-radar guy, but we love what he's doing for us, and, and he's in a great position. With, with Bai, he's had the hand injury, but he's still been practicing. Mm -hmm. Just How has that affected, if at all, your guys' ability to get a read on him or just the way that he's going through camp overall? Yeah, hey, Bai doesn't say, didn't, doesn't say anything. You know, he's a little banged up, but he's, he's a tough kid, and – you know once once he feels a little bit better, he'll even play a little bit faster. For him, since since the, the little hand deal, it's just locking in mentally and, and focusing on that part of the game because we know what he'll bring physically, right? So it's just learning the playbook and staying into that. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.